Hey, Mr. Reach, Reach, why don't you scaffolding, use scaffolding ladders? Mr. Reach, Mr. Why don't Reach, you use scaffolding ladders? Mr. Reach, Reach you scaffolding why don't you use scaffolding ladders? Come on, you use scaffolding, scaffolding ladders. Oh, your comment section's gonna drive me nuts! You're gonna blow up! Yeah, 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 I get it. I've been reading your comments, I get it. You guys want a video on this, fine. So every time I make a base now, I use bars, right? So you guys, oh, you always, every time you guys see the bars, you're like, Mr. Reach, use the scaffolding ladders. They are better. Uh, yes, I know, I know. I'm just using this because it's 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 a fan favorite, okay? It's bars. I mean, who doesn't like bars? But if you guys did not know, uh, these things are way better to use in practicality because it's pretty straightforward. You can hit zombies through them. You can repair things through them. You can loot things through them. They act the same as the bars. They got the same hit points as the bars. And I do believe, and we're going to test that now, is that the cop zombies can't actually see you through these things. But that's just a myth, obviously. We're going to try and figure that out and see if that's true. But, yeah, that's kind of the video. It's going to be a really short video, but I'll try my best to make it as interesting as possible. And when I mean as interesting as possible, well, I'll try to find the most useless thing to tell you guys, because I have nothing else to tell you, <laughs> if you guys did not know. The, the end of the, the SMG, right, is actually a bent spoon. Uh, hang on a second. Ah, there you go. So if you ever are hungry in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and you need some utensils for your eating, well, just remember you have a spoon at the end of your SMG, so be sure to use that. Yeah, super interesting content right there. That's why you guys subscribe to me, so thanks. So cops now, right? The only way to actually test this is to build a little box and then spawn a bunch of cops around me and see if they can see me through this. Now these are actually scaffolding ladders, you can climb them, right? I'll show you guys what they're on now, so you guys can build them. But if you're gonna build a base and you want to survive and you want it to be practical, then yeah, this one is definitely the right one to use. So let's put this up. So let me guess, you guys are already commenting in the comment section, letting me know that Mr. Reach, you gotta put them the other way, other otherwise the zombies can climb up them. Yes, 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 this is just to test the cup, zombie. Uh, from um, seeing you. So let's see. So let's put some cop zombies down. We'll put uh, a bunch of the normal ones. I notice these ones seem to like to um, vomit more often. So let's see if we can uh, lure them here. Okay, Mr. AIs. Hello. Can you see me through this? Can you can you vomit through this thing? No, you can't. So they can see you through it, but the, the, the vomit can't go through it. Well, yeah. The, the, okay, that's interesting, actually. Did not know, they got to be very careful though, because it can happen. Don't go too close to the uh, sides. So yeah, this is probably the best method that you guys can you can use. But I notice now that it's a rare occasion that it actually happens. Yeah, but if you don't want them to climb up it, then obviously you put them all on the inside, not on the outside, because that's not going to work. You guys can stop commenting now, right? Yeah, that's why I made the video. <laughs> no. Actually, that's never gonna work, but I thought this is pretty cool to show you guys anyway. A lot of other content creators have done this, and I thought, well, let me just do a short video showing you guys that you can actually use that as well. Oh, and by the way, while we at this weird block thing, right, so if you want to, like, access blocks through blocks, basically, so go and into your, your block menu, type in gate, right, and then go to the, uh, the security gate uh, center diagonal, right? I did this in my other video and I showed you guys, but I'm going to show you guys in this video as well, just to make the video a bit longer. So if you want to hide boxes in basically PvP or whatever it may be, or you want to put dart guns behind this here, and you want to access some th some things behind it, so let's just get some dart guns and I'll show you guys. Okay, and put a dart gun there. Put a dart gun there. Okay, and then we can we can just do that again, right? Dot gun, dot gun. Now, in the real world, you wouldn't be able to access any of these, right? You can't actually get through them. In this case, you can, uh, you can actually. So if you place those down, you just need to like go over there and you can access that one. And then this is the same with this side. Just go over there and you can access that one. You go up another one and you can do the same thing, vice versa, vice versa. So you can kind of hide your stuff behind that. So most people, you know, they would go up to it and look at it. Oh, wow, you can't actually access any of it. Look at it. It's, it's like impossible, right? But they don't know. You can just go here and access it. There are actually a lot of blocks that do these weird things. But yeah, just a basic video to show you guys. Nice and quick, easy to, to understand. So yeah.
If you want to check out another video of mine, I did this yesterday. Extremely fun. I really had a good time with it. So, yep, he has the link on the screen right now for you guys. You can go click on that uh, picture and go watch it. Leave me a like on this video if you really find it helpful. And we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye, everybody.